Let's evaluate this expression for these replacement values. So be very careful. Instead of Q, I'll write 4. So that's 4 squared. Now here's where you've got to watch yourself. I'm rewriting this minus sign, and then R itself is to be squared. That means the entire R is to be squared. Since R is negative 2, to ensure that the entire negative 2 is squared, I will place negative 2 in parentheses. And then that equals, now before subtraction, we will evaluate these exponential expressions. 4 squared, that's 4 times 4, or 16. I'm rewriting that minus sign. And then this is negative 2 times negative 2, which is a positive 4. And 16 minus 4 is 12. Let's evaluate this expression given these replacement values. So first, I'll insert the replacement values. That's 5 times t is 1 minus 3 times, and then q is 4, all over 3 times r is negative 2, and then minus 1. Let's remember order of operations, and let's simplify this expression. I'll work in the numerator and the denominator separately. Multiplication, subtraction, multiplication. First, I'll multiply. 5 times 1 is 5 minus 3 times 4 is 12. Now in the denominator, 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6, and then I have minus 1. Let's continue in the numerator and denominator separately. 5 minus 12, that's negative 7. In the denominator, negative 6 minus 1, that's negative 7. And what is negative 7 divided by negative 7? That is a positive 1. So the expression simplifies to 1 at these replacement values.